Welcome to another show of the magazine. Today we are here at the, not a new establishment, but a newer establishment in town of Fairhaven called Boca. And we're here with Mario Ribeiro. Welcome, Mario. Hey, Charlie. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you. You were actually our first show of the magazine after the revisited during COVID. So welcome back to the show, Mario. I remember that. It feels like uh, ages ago. It does. It does feel yeah. like ages ago. So uh, tell us some history of this establishment here. Um, do you have hours? Because <laughs> it's going to take a while. But uh, briefly, uh, so um, Pasta's been here for 42 years, since 1980. Um, I bought it in um, 2001 uh, with partners at the time. Um, so I've been here 22 years already. Wow. Yeah, going on 22. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, the history, the building, it's, it was built by Vic Florent, um, who's very popular in town. He was a, a selectman. Uh, everyone knew him back in 1968. He built the building. Uh, started off as a paddock pub. Um, came a couple things in between paddock pub and, um, and the pasta house. And now it's, uh, it's Boca. So it's, uh, it's been through, uh, you know, a few different things. It's, um, I guess the fourth or fifth concept. I'm not even sure, but, uh, but it's a landmark here in Fairhaven. Everybody knows it. Sure. Uh, you know, 42 years of, of history and, uh, and here we are, uh, standing as, uh, as Boca. So. Yeah, and why the name change? Uh, so <laughs> when I bought the business back in 01, I, I wanted to change it then. Um, you know, I, I didn't want to take on, um, you know, someone else's, um, concept. I wanted to create my own, okay. um, but, uh, but, you know, with partnerships, you know, you, you make decisions, uh, you know, based on what, you know, everyone feels. And fortunately, uh, at that time, you know, it, it was, you know, everyone felt that it was best just keeping the pasta house name just because of reputation. So, so we did, which is great. Mm -hmm. uh, back in 08, when I renovated, um, at that point, I didn't have partners. I wanted to change it then. And, and again, uh, you know, people advised me not to. So um, in, at that point, I, I, I kept it again. Uh, but now, you know, with all the white hairs I have and, and everything that I've been through here uh, through, you know, 20 some odd years, I, I decided, you know, it's, it's time okay. um, to put my stamp on it and, and my own concept. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very similar to the pasta. So it's just, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's a little different. Um, you know, we're not just about pasta. Sure. You know, we stopped that a long time ago, you know, back when it was the pasta. So, I mean, they were making fresh pasta every day. All the pasta was fresh. Uh, now, you know, we've gone away from, from not just being pasta. You know, you come here, you can get, you know, potatoes, french fries, risotto, um, all different types of starches. So it's, you know, the menu is a lot more versatile. There's a little bit of Portuguese on the menu. Obviously, shrimp Mozambique's one of your favorite, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's not just a, a pasta house anymore. You know, it hasn't been a pasta house for years. So we, um, you know, it's time to just make a change. And, um, and, you know, we finally went for it. So you did an incredibly quick renovation. It looks yeah. great in here, Mario. It Thank really you. looks great in Thank here. Thank you. How did you get it done so quickly? Well, so it's been planned for three years. It okay. was, yeah, <laughs> pre-COVID pre is when we started the project. Um, we started working on it in uh, January of, uh, was it uh, 2019? So right before, the, I'm sorry, 2020, right before the pandemic uh, started in March, right? So it was all in the works. Um, and then it just got, you know, obviously put on the back burner until, you know, pandemic ended and uh, finally able to get it going and lined up the contractors, had some great people work um, on the project and, and they got it done quick, so. I sure did, they got that bar done and it looks great. Yeah. Thank it you, great. thank you. When people come in, they're gonna notice a, a nice change. Yeah, I appreciate it, yeah, I hope so. So uh, what can we expect now <laughs> with the, this menu that you were talking a little bit about it? Um, so a couple changes, uh, we changed our pizza dough. Okay. Um, so it's more of a, uh, almost like a Neapolitan style uh, pizza dough, it's not with wood. Um, it's still a fire deck oven, um, cooked on stone. Um, but the pizza dough is a little different. Um, we changed our cheese also on the pizza. Okay. Um, so you're going to see a little difference there. Um, couple, couple additions. So we added a little bit more, some more steaks to the menu. Okay. Um, there's not a lot of places around here where you can get a good steak. So now we offer uh, not just filet mignon like we used to, but also a sirloin steak and a ribeye and tenderloin tips. Okay. So we have a great meat selection. Sure. Uh, you know, not too many places you can get veal either. So uh, a great veal selection, um, still great pastas, and just a, a wide variety of, uh, of different things. So uh, it's a very versatile menu. So one of my new favorites is the cheese boards. Yes. So you got to tell us about the cheese boards. Yeah, the cheese boards, that's that's new to the appetizers. Um, so if you come in, there's five different cheese boards to choose from. Um, uh, one, a couple that are basically a mix of meats and cheeses. 
Um, there's one all meat, one all cheese, and then there's a grande, which basically has a little bit of everything. Uh, so that's a, a great new addition to the menu. So if you come in, I mean, I always recommend having that. Uh, pair it with some nice wine. Uh, you buy, we have great wine selection by the glass, or you can get a bottle. Uh, but it's a great way to start the, uh, the evening here. And you've got great Boca merchandise also. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So as soon as you walk through the door, we've got a nice cabinet with, with T-shirts and, and glasses. Um, we even have the, the bottles, the water bottles, um, a little bit of everything. So um, it's, uh, yeah, definitely a good way to market. So a lot of people have this burning question. Uh, the name changed. It's a new place. It's not a new place. It's still, it's still owned by Mario Ribeiro. Yep. Uh, however, what if someone has a Pasta House gift card? Yeah, um, I get asked that a lot. Uh, we have phone calls constantly, and, and Pasta House gift cards are uh, accepted. Okay. So uh, it's still a single ownership. I'm I'm the only owner, um, and uh, and yeah, we, we'll we'll take them as long as I'm here. Um, and you know, I don't have any plans of leaving. So uh, <laughs> you know, if I do, then you know, we'll deal with that then. But for now, I don't I don't plan on going anywhere. So the holidays are coming up. Yep. Any specials that uh, Boca will be offering? Yeah. So every year we do a uh, twenty dollar uh, back bonus card on every hundred that you buy. Okay. So if you buy hundred dollars gift cards, any denomination, you buy four twenty fives, two fifties, a hundred, you get a twenty dollar bonus card uh, to the restaurant. That's good for food or beverage. Uh, we also are going to do a another online um, sale that is going to be um, Black Friday to Cyber Monday online only which is going to be 15% off uh, gift cards. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to be online only, unfortunately, but um, it is super easy. Uh, go right on our website at bocaforhaven.com, uh, click on the gift cards, and just fill out the information. It's going to get emailed right to you, um, or you can email it to whoever you're, uh, you're, you're buying it for. So either or, but it's 15% off. So Okay, that's yeah, great. Yeah, it's not a bonus card, uh, so it's a little different. You know, money off. Some people prefer getting the money off. Sure. So, um, yeah. So either way, it's a, it's a great deal. So that starts on Black Friday? Yeah, Black Friday to Cyber Monday. So it's a big uh, four-day sale. Okay, that's great. Yeah. That's great. So um, this is all about Boca, but uh, just tell us a little bit about Cask and Pig. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So uh, Cask and Pig, I started that six years ago. In Dartmouth. In Dartmouth, yeah. Um, so it's a gastro pub, which is basically a like a sports pub that um, has really good food, focuses really in on food. Okay. Um, so we, um, we specialize... Um, in barbecue, uh, so we have a, a lot of different uh, types of barbecue. We have ribs, obviously, uh, brisket that we smoke uh, daily, mm-hmm. uh, pulled pork, um, smoked chicken. Um, but then we also have a lot of local favorites too. Uh, like, you know, you have to have like we talked about earlier, shrimp moles and beak on the menu. We have Portuguese steak on the menu. So some, you know, my Portuguese heritage mm-hmm. um, brought into the uh, into the equation over there. And um, the Vos kale soup. The Vos kale soup, of course, yeah. <laughs> and uh, just a lot of local favorites. You know, you have to have seafood. You know, being in New England, mm-hmm. so we got fresh scallops on there. Um, we have uh, obviously uh, uh, fresh uh, fish like scrod, salmon. Okay. Um, so it's a wide variety of seafood. So it's not, you know. It's not your typical like barbecue joint. Like I said, we call it a gastro pub because it, you know, it's a lot of different things going on on the menu. Sure. And uh, a great place to watch the game too. So okay. we have, uh, yeah. yeah, we have 22 TVs. We have 24 beers on draft. All right. Um, so if you want to watch a, a Pats game or a Celtics game, Bruins, Red Sox, whoever, great place to go with That's your family. Yeah. yeah. And we just won. Uh, the South Coast awarded us with the um, best family dining restaurant. Congratulations. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, you know, obviously the South Coast, uh, you know, feels the same way of what we're, we're trying to do there, which is uh, create a great family atmosphere. Uh, you know, bring everybody down, enjoy, uh, enjoy a great meal, uh, cocktails, beer, watch the game. Sure. Have fun. Now, now, will the holiday specials apply also for cask and pick? Yes. Same exact holiday specials. So, <clears throat> yep. The uh, bonus uh, for $20 uh, on 100 and then also the uh, 15% off in the four days okay. online. All right. Yeah. So, so we're doing it both places. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great. Lots of opportunity to get some early shopping done and get it done uh, Black Friday weekend or or just coming in and starting. Is that special starting also on Black Friday? Yeah, but yeah Black Friday. So it's uh, Black Friday, then you get the Saturday, Sunday, and then Cyber Monday. So it's a four-day four sale. And that's also including the $20 for the $100 uh, gift card. They'll start then, too. Uh, actually, we might start that earlier. I think we're going to start that this, uh, this upcoming weekend. Okay. Yeah, All if right, we can uh, get everything lined up, I think we're going to start it on Friday. Okay. Yeah. And that'll go out throughout the holidays. So that, okay. that'll start then, which will probably be this weekend and then go until uh, Christmas Eve. Okay. Yep. All right. Great. Yeah. So what's one word when someone enters Boca? What's one word you want them to leave with? Wow. 
Is that a word? I don't even know if that's a that's word. That's a word. That's a word. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, we want them to uh, experience a, a great, uh, a great time uh, from start to finish. So, from the minute you get greeted uh, at the front desk from your host or hostess uh, to the minute you leave, you know, uh, start to finish, uh, great service, mm -hmm. great food, great atmosphere, and also have a great time. So. That's great. Yeah. Well, I think that's a great word to leave with. And I also want to um, commend you on your staff Thank because you. your um, servers, you know, bartenders, um, they always greet everyone with a smile and they're always very uplifting and, and energetic. And I think that's that's not easy to find these days. Yeah. Yeah, so. absolutely. I appreciate it. Yeah. They, um, you know, they, they do their best and, and, you know, they love doing what they do. So um, we certainly hope, uh, you know, everybody uh, enjoys it. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> you also maybe want to uh, say a, a nice thank you to uh, your beautiful wife, who uh, is right there by your side, and she's always working hard to, to make sure that this dream becomes uh, a reality. Absolutely. Without Raquel, uh, I, you know, I, I definitely wouldn't be here. So she, uh, she helps me out in every way possible, uh, whether it was from the beginning where, you know, our kids were young and, you know, and she, she took care of them uh, so I can focus on the restaurant and building what we built today. Uh, to now where our kids are growing up and she's, you know, she's here helping me at the restaurant. So yeah. Yeah. I'm lucky to have her. Yeah, you are. That's yeah. great. Now, anything next, anything coming up? Not right now, uh, Charlie, but we'll see in the near future, you know, something could, you know, but we, uh, right now we're just focused on, um, on making Boca great. Okay. Um, and, and, and cask and pig. So, um, I got my hands full right now. You sure do, but a very successful way of doing things. And, uh, thank you so much for being a part of our community and, you do a lot of behind the scenes things for everyone in the community too, so you're very modest, but but I'll tell the viewers that you do a lot behind the scenes to help out a lot of organizations. So well, thank it's you. greatly appreciated in the community. Well we love uh Fairhaven, the South Coast and you know, whatever we can do to help, we uh you know, we do. So I appreciate you uh, recognizing that and, and, and thank you. And thank you, Mario. Thanks for being a great part of our community. Thanks, Charlie. Appreciate it. Welcome back to the magazine. Now, our next stop here is at the Bayside, right here in Fairhaven, and we're here with Kevin Vasconcellos. Welcome, Kevin. Hello, Charlie. Good to have you on the show. Yeah, good to be on. Actually, you were our first show during COVID. Yeah, two, two years ago. Two years ago. Yep. So we're back now at the Bayside to hear how have things been going, what's been happening here at the Bayside. Uh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, it's, a lot has changed because of COVID and rules and regulations, but uh, we've... Uh, Adapted to them, and uh, we have an outside patio now which, uh, for the summer, um, which helped out a lot. A lot of people like to be outside with the warm weather and the sun, and uh, we would have the bands out there instead of in, inside, which was really good. And, uh, our food, it's helped our food. Uh, a lot of people are coming in now and eating, and or takeout. Takeout's been big, huge for mm -hmm. COVID. Yeah. Uh, word of mouth, obviously, because we have takeout and, but, uh, yeah. It's... So things are getting a little bit back to normal? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been still tough. It's, uh, the busy times that used to be aren't really as busy as they used to be. Uh, again, dinner is good. Lunch is good. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, after nine o'clock at night. People seem to be wanting to stay home. Yeah. Well, it gets dark out. a lot earlier now, yeah. too, so yeah, it makes too. it seem like it's a yeah. lot later. So how have you expanded or brought in new customers? What are some things, like, do you have, like, trivia night or some kind of game nights? or? Yeah, we do. Uh, on Tuesday nights, we have music bingo, okay. uh, which has been really good. Uh, people seem to like it. Uh, we have uh, Eddie Freitas does it, and he's really good with the people. He's, yeah. he's funny and really interactive with everybody, the customers. Uh, and then we also do trivia on Thursday nights and karaoke on Thursday after trivia. Okay. Uh, we have bands on the weekends. Sundays we have open mic, which people can come and play with whoever's here and just pick up a guitar or jump on the drums and have have a good time with on stage with whoever shows up. Oh, that's great. Now, what time is that on Sundays? Uh, five o'clock on Sunday. Five o'clock. Yep. Okay. Very good. And what about trivia? What time does that start? Uh, trivia is seven. Uh, 7 to 9, and then karaoke is 9.30 to close, whatever, midnight, yeah. I think, something. Uh, we also have, uh, on Sundays, we also do a pool, pool tournament okay. at 1 o'clock, which uh, we just started that uh, at the beginning of November. So that's been a good turnout. Uh, again, we're having a lot of fun with that. 
good. So. Excellent. Yeah. So it's a lot to do here at the Bayside. Yeah, yeah. We try to get something, some type of event every day that we can. And what about the delicious food? Yeah. Some of your weekly specials. Yeah, we have uh, uh, Mondays. We have seven dollar burgers. Mm -hmm. So just uh, with the purchase of a drink, you get a delicious burger from Bayside. <laughs> but uh, and then on Wednesdays we do uh, fifteen dollar lobster rolls and clam boils. That's an amazing price. So, yes, <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody tells me, and we, people seem to like them. So that's good. That's excellent. Um, so the holidays are coming up. Yep. So what are some things that uh, we can get here at the Bayside or or gift cards or? Yeah, we have gift cards here. We uh, we have a party platter menu. Uh, so you can order ahead to, and just uh, get chicken wings or chicken tenders or then uh, multiple other items on the menu. Uh, we also do, uh, we also have our function room. So if somebody wants to have an office party or birthday party or something like that, a Christmas party, okay. we, we have those. Good. Yeah. So there's a lot of more services here that, yeah. you know, that are kind of behind the scenes, but, but still offered at the Bayside. Oh, yeah. Very good. And you have quality staff here. You're very lucky yes. to have good staff. Yeah. My, my staff came back from COVID pretty much. We've hired a couple more people since then, but, uh, but yeah, it's. It's a really good staff, and uh, we're a good family. You know, tight, but it's all about having fun and enjoying your job. And good, excellent. That's what I like to hear too. I'm yeah. sure, and I'm sure you, <laughs> as the boss, likes to hear that too. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, so you've done some other things though for the community. You've offered. Uh, I know that the Rotary Club had a function here. So there's, there's other things that you do for offer services. Yes. Yep. Uh, yeah. Rotary Club did a uh, meat raffle. Here, we also do meat raffles for the West Island Improvement Association. Okay. Uh, we've had a few buses that stop during bu uh, pub crawls that, okay. um, to raise money for their charities and uh, bike runs. Uh, all the different functions come here and use the facilities to help out the community in many ways. Excellent. So I, I want to ask you a question. So when someone leaves the Bayside, what do you want them to feel? Uh, enjoyment, relaxation, happy, um, good time with friends and laugh and not worry about the COVID or right. other issues. <laughs> so take a little break. Yeah. And come to the yeah. Bayside. Good. Anything coming up? Anything next? Uh, well, we have, we have bands, like I said, uh, I check our Facebook. We are always promoting them or, uh, we actually have, uh, them usually in the in the bar, they'll say what, what bands are coming up or what events are coming up. That is true. I see a lot on Facebook. You know, yeah. the Bayside is always putting something up there on Facebook and yeah. sometimes some funny, catchy sayings, and it's yeah, great. I try it's to, great. I try to interact with Facebook a lot. Good, so. good. That gets the word out there. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Anything, anything else that you can think of for the upcoming events? Anything? Just Christmas, gift cards, platters. Yep. You can rent yeah, out the space, we'll, uh, you know. We're, well, we're, we're open every day, so we'll be open uh, Thanksgiving Okay. for anybody that wants to come in for lunch or dinner. Um, we're open, we'll be open Christmas later in the, in the afternoon, but uh, it's, you know, we, we try to provide for everybody. If you come by, you've got something to eat, drink or two, and sure. hang out. Well, I, I really appreciate you uh, staying strong during these times there, Kevin, and uh, making sure that everything works out well for the Bayside. And, and I know I get great food when I come here, great drinks, and it's always great entertainment. And I, I really appreciate you staying strong for our community because we need the Bayside in our community. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>